Hi guys, welcome to this week's Lift Talkie Bit. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you for that kind introduction, Live Mark. Uh, welcome to the second Lift Talkie Bit of the half term. Last week we looked at Noah, who put his trust in God and took a pretty big leap of faith. This week we're looking at David, who was a worshipper. So, our story today starts not with David, but with another man, and a man called Saul. Now, Saul was the first king of the Israelites, but he wasn't a good king, because instead of doing what God wanted him to do, he did his own thing. Saul had another problem in that from time to time he would feel really sad and upset. Okay, The only thing that ever seemed to help him was music especially music sung to God, a special kind of music called praise or worship. Now, as I've already said, David was a worshipper. He would sit on the hillside and sing his songs of praise and worship to God whilst he looked after his father's sheep. Worship means that we don't just sing the words that form in our minds, but we really mean them and we're singing from our hearts. We're truly, truly like in touch with what we're saying and we really believe and understand what we're saying that is what worship is so Saul asked David to come to the royal palace every time Saul felt deeply sad and he would call for David to come and play Saul knew that praise set our spirits free he knew what the Bible said that in God's presence is fullness of great joy when David became king, he remember that he felt happiest in God's presence. So he wrote, I only ask one thing, Lord. Let me live in your house every day of my life to see how wonderful you are and to pray in your temple. He was a king. He could have had anything he wanted, gold, massive houses, or anything you can think of. But all he ever really wanted was to be in God's presence. That makes me think that if a king who could have absolutely anything he wanted but still chooses God's presence and worship might be something might mean that it's maybe something that is worth having. Okay. It's at this point that I'll hand you back over to Live Mark to answer any of your questions you may have. If you're watching this on YouTube after the event, then please do post any questions you may have in the comment section below. Or finally, if you have any questions, but you don't really want to ask them in front of anybody or you don't want to type anything down on, uh, on YouTube, then save it for Lyft Visiting next week and I will try and answer them then. So it just leaves me to say, thank you for listening, if indeed you still are. Back to you, Live Mark.